Hello and welcome to the second part of Chicksize Wars Guide, where we are about here to investigate the second branch, the anti entropy branch. We just entered the annual party with, well, I guess, success fighting a balloon, and nothing happened bad in the kitchen where Kiana the head chef is. I was expecting something to be happening there. And so let's enter the anti-entropy branch and look what they are up to. Teresa Sama, wake up! Uh, stop yelling. Just five more minutes. Five minutes? Okay. Oh, no. Five minutes, ten minutes, and Five minutes? Okay. Wait, no, you say the same thing five, ten, and fifteen minutes ago. If you add it up, we are already 20 minutes behind schedule. At this rate, we are definitely going to be late. Sama dust off again. What I do? What I do? Teresa Sama specifically told me that the branch in the countryside has been slacking off and urgently needs to be set straight. Only by fixing their attitude can we get the perfect work experience manual. Thus, bring the perfect employer creation plan to fruition. If we keep slacking, who knows when Teresa Summer's plan will be finished? You leave me no choice then, Teresa Sama. Please forgive me, but for your great plan. I will carry you there if I have to. Oh, sorry, I slipped. Uh, uh, wait. Oh, are you still asleep? Morning is the best time of the day. And napping is the best way to start the day. Is she talking in her sleep? Also, it's almost noon already. Teresa Sama, please get up. We are really going to be late. It's precisely because we are going to be late that one can consider this a proper nap. Napping cares not about time or place. You will understand once you have pulled a few more all-nighters.
Besides, being here is way better than walking over time. <laughs> 我懂了，一定是我的工作做得不好，导致这几天德丽莎大人都在为了兼修我的工作成果而熬夜，现在才如此疲惫。And someone can barely stay awake. It must be because my work was so bad, and she had to stay up late supervising me. Ah, all my fault. Delisha 大人好心带我一起工作，我没有替她分忧就算了，还打扰她休息。我真是太不懂事了。It's all my fault. She was kind enough to take me under her wing, and. Instead of lightening her load, I'm disturbing her rest. I'm so inconsiderate. 可是现在该怎么办？德丽莎大人压在我身上，我完全动不了。But、what do I do now? There is a sunrise on top of me, and I can't move. 哎，今天的床感觉比以前还要舒服啊。又暖和，又柔软，啊、嗯！<笑> the better day feels more comfy than ever. So warm, so soft. Susanna,、嗯、德丽莎大人肯定自有计划，你不应该有所质疑。She must have a plan. I should not doubt her. 静静的等待吧。就算全身酸麻也不能动弹，这是你打扰德丽莎大人休息的惩罚，你要乖乖接受。Just wait in silence. Even if my whole body goes numb, I must not move a muscle. This is my punishment for disturbing her rest. I have made my bed. Now it's time to lie in it. 不过话说回来，以前从来没敢想过，有朝一日。我会离主教大人这么近，<笑>甚至能听到他的呼吸声，真是好开心呐、啊、<笑> ！But honestly, I never imagined I would be this close to Ovasia. Can even see her breathing. I am giddy with happiness. <laughs> 我哪里还能睡得着？哎呀，耳朵还在嗡嗡响。How could I sleep with all your fusing? Ah,、uh, my ears are still ringing. 嗯，抱歉，多丽莎大人，我最怕别人戳我的痒痒肉了。<笑> Sorry, Teresa Summer. I'm super ticklish. 没关系，你只要去帮我把所有工作都做完。就算将功补过 ，It's fine. You can make it up to me by finishing the rest of the work. 哎，这样吧，从今天开始，你就是天命主教了。Starting today, you are the new Chicksel Overseer. 我，我，我，我怎么可能担得起如此大任？整个天命上下都还指望着您呢。Me? I I I can't handle such a huge responsibility. Everyone at Chicksell relies on you. 那你就是不服从我的安排了。So are you defying my order? 不是，我当然服从。不对不对，我不能服从。哎呦，德丽莎大人，你就别拿我打趣了。大家都知道，只有您才能胜任主教的位置。No, of of course not. Wait, I can't do that, Teresa Summer. Please don't joke around. Everyone knows only you can be the overseer. Who set the rules that only I can take over the position of overseer? I spent my time planning this whole thing, just to avoid this unbearable task of overseer work. 
Sesku, all my planning and effort has been to escape the endless burden of overseeing things. Huh? Never mind. Just talking to myself. Let's head out to the anti entropy branch. Ah, we are finally here. And we are still late, oh? Don't sweat it, Sushana. We still get pain whatever we are on time or not. Being a few minutes late is nothing comparable to the physical and mental health of the employers. I'm sure Chixel would agree with that. Think about it. If your co-worker arrives 5 minutes earlier than you every day, how would you feel? I would think she's very vigilant and that I should learn from her. So, what would you do? I would try to arrive 5 minutes earlier every day as well. If a bunch of people started thinking like you and arrived 5 minutes earlier, what would happen to those we used to arrive on time. They... Can't they just keep arriving on time? Wrong, wrong. They would be seen as less hardworking and catch black because everyone else would be arriving early. To avoid this, they would also start arriving early and people might start trying to overdo each other. Today you arrived 5 minutes early, tomorrow someone else is 10 minutes earlier. Before long, everyone might as well be living in the office. It shows complete disregard for employers' well-being and company regulations. Is it really that serious? You might not be able to fully grasp it without experiencing yourself. Striving to work better is fine, but if employer can't complete their task within normal hours, arriving early is pointless. Makes sense. Exactly. Sometimes people do unnecessary work just to appear more diligent than their peers. Meanwhile, other people, afraid of being seen as slacking in comparison, are forced to do extra work. Before long, everyone starts doing adding more to their already full plate. And that, my friend, is called rat case. So, if I work too hard, it makes others seem less industrious? Essentially, yes. In the end, Red Race leaves everyone drained and forever anxious about doing less work than their colleagues. I think I get it, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm just trying to work hard, but... It's okay if you don't fully understand now. You will soon enough. May poked around and asked some questions. Turns out that overly enthusiastic employer from before was actually an undercover agent from the second branch, aka the anti entropy branch. After further secret investigation, May managed to contact an employer of the second branch who confirmed that their head has been promoting poor work practice. Ah, uh, got it. We are here to find evidence of the branch director's misconduct. Exactly. Unethical workplace conduct isn't just an individual issue. If the leader is not promoting it, this culture would not exist. To eradicate it, we need to attack the issue at the root. 
Remember, don't overlook any oddities. Our work might be hidden in the details. I understood. Actually, I have already noticed something unusual. What? There are work monsters ahead, and they seem different from those in the first branch. They appear to be cooperating with humans and seem to be... Destroying something? Monster cooperating with humans? Let's check it out. Uh, monsters? Portal? Monsters ahead seem to be working with the employer here and they are trying to hide something. Stop them! Okay, fight. Uh, I will turn out auto combos for this out, but I will skip the fight with, uh, you know, the speed, speed motion, speed up. You got what I mean. That's done. Investigate that strange employer. Employee. I will hide here. No, everyone can can do something. Let's see if anything is if there's anything good. Ah, he did hide something in this bush. Sama, I found something the person was hiding. Ah, can't I have a moment, please? Sorry. You can handle minor stuff yourself without reporting everything to me. Wait, what's that in your hand? It's something the monster dropped. Looks like a gun. Shh, give me that now. Teresa snatched the gun from Sushana's hand examined it closely and smiled with satisfaction. <laughs> Fancy running into you here. Looks like there's really something fishy going on with the second branch. What on earth is the thing, Teresa-sama? Did you forget? I have a lot of handy work gadgets and this gun is one of them. I left it with the head of the second branch but it ended up in the hands of the work monsters who tried to destroy it. Clearly, the head here has not been following my workload reduction policy and seemed to be in cahoots with these work monsters. I see, but how can a gun reduce workloads? This isn't just a gun, this is an idle gun aka word killer, work killer. Simply put, if someone violates company policy and puts in extra hours without authorization, we can plug them with this. What? Our company is that strict? Relax, I told you, this it's not ordinary gun. Getting shot with it won't hurt you. So what happened if you get hit? Seeing is believing. Let me just show you. Slack? 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 What a weird sound. It's not bang or pop. Just slack? Because the idle gun fires idle bullets, whoever gets hit will feel that they have done enough work and can comfortably slack off for the rest of the day. This gun isn't just for disciplining workaholics employer, but also for relieving work-related stress and anxiety. For example, is it statue by the entrance? It's clearly being determined by work and desperately needs a break. Go ahead and shoot it. Statue? Receive a gun? With a trigger that puts targets in idle mode, people hit by the gun feel they have got enough and deserve to 
cut some slack. Where did the employee even disappear? Stick to your post. I'm going to watch. Take the homo statue with a gun. Maybe it's not so bad to take a break. Is it Sally? Oh my god, Sally. Someone saved me. What's wrong? I was careless and got trapped. Can you help me disable those spikes? It seems like you can use that mirror. Thanks, Godness, I'm safe now. Silly! Thank you. If I had not run into you, I might have been stuck here all day. I'm Silly from the second branch. You are our Sia Teresa and Miss Susanna. I didn't expect to see you here. Just call me Teresa. The second branch was always been a star performer. So I brought Sushana here for a visit. I see. Welcome. Why are you stuck here? I wanted to uh, sneak in some extra work during my lunch break to finish today's task. In other words, our time. So you have that much work? She just out and admit it. Um, it's not that there's too much work. I just start working as soon as I get to the office and don't relax until the end of the day. Despite that, I still struggle to keep up with my colleagues. How oh, come? It sounds like you are working really hard. I have no idea. Take this resort construction project for example. We all had the same budget and similar design, but my colleague's performance was Consistently rated much higher than mine. I'm confused and frustrated, so I wanted to see what I was doing wrong. How can this be happening? Looks like the problem is worth that, I thought. This is the case of Secret Rat Race, and even nastier variety of your ordinary rat race. What? Do you mean Celia has not done anything wrong? But that other are doing extra work in secret? That's right. I have seen their work results, and they are not much better than mine. Because it's not out in the open, hence the term hidden. Show me their employers here. I will spot any discrepancies in no time. Alright, they are just ahead. Taking it easier. In their work areas. Oh, so happy to see the Zillion here. Also, new design. Oh, we got here also. I can use Aegis. Able. Uh, it's locked. Oh, we have not. We don't have to go there. Piggy? Piggy, the third? Are these the colleagues you mentioned? Yeah, they are the three little pigs in charge of the construction project. They are holding those houses behind them. Three little pigs, this is like exactly from the fairy tale. But aren't they work monsters? That is also another of our branch director's achievements. By recruiting monsters, she expanded the workforce so that each person's workload would lessen. But maybe I'm not capable enough as the branch grew so I did the workload. Instead of relief, all I feel is pressure and being unable to keep up with everyone else. So the work monsters we encountered earlier were also employees of the second branch. They are exploding even monsters now. Truly ghastly stuff. This isn't your fault, Sally. Clearly, 
as the workforce expanded, the total workout increased, so things did not get any easier for you all. Plus, these new employees are serious overachievers who consistently rise the bar when it comes to performance. This is a serious problem that needs to be addressed as fast as possible. You say they are overachievers? But all they have made is an ordinary straw hut. Nothing special. Are you still sleeping? And snoring loudly during work hours. They are completely obvious to everything. Yeah, those three are always like this. But every time during performance reviews, I still feel behind them. <sighs> the louder you snoring, the better sleep you are getting. That's good. However, their snoring seems to be too exaggerated to be the real thing. Oh, hold up. Here comes the branch director. Huh? In a flash, dust rose and then settled. Piggy the third has already changed into his work attitude, standing obediently in front of the straw hut. Snow, greetings, director. Huh? You were awake this whole time, weren't you? I was pretending to sleep. Silly, you... You set me up. I trusted you. And you resort to loud down tricks like this? It wasn't me. I was drawing these guys around to observe everyone. Open your eyes. The one who tricked you isn't silly. It was I, Teresa. Ter Teresa? Huh, the overseer. I'm, I'm doomed. Wait, what am I panicking for? Look, I have constructed this straw hut, built exactly according to the Shiksa's plan, and I have not exceeded the budget by a penny. Really? It looks to me like you are putting lipsticks on a pig. Or rather the exact opposite. Pardon the expression. Nonsense, it's just a pile of straw. You are got quite the sense of humor overseer. Ah. Reza approached the hut and mentioned to lift the straw covering it. Piggy the third abruptly rushed over, blocking the path. Reza Sama, it's already fragile enough. You must not interfere with it. Don't worry, I'm merely conducting a cursory inspection. Cat got your tongue. Feeling guilty, aren't you? If you are working so hard, you should be prepared to be exposed. Why don't you leave the straw yourself? It will save me some effort. You know, I don't like extra work. There's just more straw underneath, I swear. There's nothing to see here. You sly devil. You would do anything for the opportunity for more work, wouldn't you? Sushana, here down the hut. I want to see what's inside. Roger. Trust me, I'm not working overtime. Did they have joined the fight? Ah! Did his specialty here is inflicting vulnerability on targets to make them take more damage. Come closer and cast the damage spell. Okay, and I will think we'll speed up this up. Yeah, that was easy. After defeating Piggy the third, Sushana hog tied him. Teresa yanked off the straw covering the hut, revealing the costly wooden walls underneath. This is a luxury wooden cabinet, and you said yourself you are not overworking? You are all uh, signing me out. 
This is what I mean when I said the problem was serious. Here, you have got a hut made to look like straw on the outside, but underneath, that is an intricable wooden structure. Even though it was destroyed, the exquisite wood carving proved that Iggy the Third was walking day and night on the structure. No wonder Piggy the Third always received high performance scores. Turns out he was not building a straw hut at all. Such fine wood must have taken a lot of time to cut and proceed. This kind of material clearly exceeded the budget which was allotted. It's no wonder you could not keep up, silly. I see it was not any deficiency on my part, but due to Piggy the Third secretly doing extra work. Exactly, but we cut you, you sneaky little pig. Don't get cocky just now. Summoning strength from who knows where, Piggy the Third rolled itself up and charged at its heart before smashing it to pieces. It then quickly rolled away into the distance. It's my final achievement! You have no evidence now! Ha ha ha! Be well! He rolled himself up and escaped, and he destroyed all the evidence! Even when his hawk died, that piggy can't stand to miss any chance to walk. No matter, since he surely can't be the only one overwalking, let's keep going. Piggy the second. Oh my god, I'm literally. Uh, they just took the three little piggies uh, book, fairy tale, and made. Wait. Was the part one also a fairy tale that I probably did not know? But this is so funny to me. I don't know if, how many of you are. That's all for today. Time to go home. No, our boss is not yet yet. Some people can help but make troubles. Use the idle gun to shoot at them and make them slack off. Oh, what do I want to say? I don't know even how many people uh, remember the three little piggies uh, fairy tale. Wait, I have to probably put through them. It's time to leave. <laughs> That's a nice little puzzle here. Taking off. Um, one. So they're basically like telling everyone to slake off. A little bit of chest. I think it will be no problem to. Uh, to finish this quest on time. We are here. This is Pig is the Second's workspace. As you can see, its house looks just as unimpressive. Oh, if it isn't Siri and the Overseer, what bring you here to? Well, I followed the trail of your overdue here. Um, you, you are joking, right? We would not dream of doing more than we had to. Look, I'm still playing mobile games and I have not done any work at all this month. Really? Your house looks quite refined to me. What are you talking about? Look at this range style decor. You call this refined? You must be mistaken. I actually would not mind burning this I saw down myself. Ah, if that's what you want. Roger! What? No! Teresa waved her hand, which prompted Sushana to abruptly produce a torch from behind her. Let's burn it then. At least it will give off some heat. No! 
You will only set flames to this house over my rusted body. <laughs> okay, we are literally the evil wolf that destroys uh, Iggy's houses. Oh, you already know that the, the jazz here? We will skip this part. Oh, look at this house. The roaring conflagration burned down Pigas the second straw house, revealing a luxurious villa built from variegated ceramics. Oh, it's so beautiful! Flat work, reliefs, even murals, all meticulously crafted. I think you will go this far. You guys are something else. Oh, I see, have mercy. Th this was not just way to pass the time. I swear it was not about overworking. I don't think so. Such a detailed project could not have been done during working hours. You must have been working overtime, voluntarily. Such dedication to perfection is truly commendable. Please stop saying that. I'm not. I didn't. Now you understand, silly. You might think you have given it your all during work hours. But meanwhile, those guys are secretly uh, logging in hours of the clock. So that's it. I can also walk after clocking out. I get it now. Don't you dare follow their example. If anyone does this, knocking in and out becomes meaningless. But there is a summer. You often tell me it's okay to log in late and say I forgot. Isn't that the same? Um, no, that's different. Ig is a second. Your clandestine chicanery has affected your colleague's work. How do you plead? I... I... Not guilty. I'm going to find my big brother. He wrote the weight again. Don't let him get away. And let's go to the third pig, I guess. Like the pig the eldest. Yeah, this is literally from the fairy tale. That's a really nice house. So... The next one has to be like from from stone, house from stone, like really really big one. Oh, and we have this puzzle to do, right? Um, I move. I have to move this out. And move your two out. One, two, three. I'm done with work. Let's leave. Okay, the third piggy. Yeah, that looks kind of suspicious. Another unremarkable house. The only difference was that there was no pig around, just a simple sideboard with oversized lettering. Absent. A bit of on the nose, I would say. Pig the Elders has always bragged about being absent from work 9 of 10 days. But based on what we have seen, I'm sure it's all a facade as well. This time, before Teresa could act, Pig the Elder's voice rang out from inside the house. I didn't expect my brothers to be exposed. Alright, I'm through playing games. 
You want to tear down my facade too? No need. I will do it ourselves. Come on out, brothers. Roger. Underneath the house, the sound of machinery rumbles. Soon, powerful jets blow away the wallpaper, revealing walls carved from marble. Yes, that's, that's the marble stone. Looking closer, the interior stone with an unexpected metallic sheen like a massive armored fortress. How about that? Impressive, isn't it? This is the culmination result of our hard work over dozens of nights. He's admitting it outright, and he's proud of it. Is this a resort you are building? People come to a resort for a change of pace, don't they? What's cooler, more novel and more attractive uh, than an armored fortress? But this was not in the development plan, and it does not fit with our overall layout at all. So what? It doesn't fit because you are not working hard enough. Exactly. If you were as dedicated as us, everything would fall into place perfectly. You guys are being so unreasonable. You should not buy up random materials just to meet the branch director's targets without giving any thoughts to what Chicksell Corporation actually needs. Those locks, their reliefs and this armor, they are all just little attempts to gain and edge in a competition where nobody wins. It's all a complete waste of resources. Seems like my efforts were not in vain after all. Sushana is finally starting to see the truth. Also for the mistake prone employee like me, it's already difficult enough to complete the assignment task without messing them up. And now you want us to exceed our quota? That's just impossible. So, that's what you are concerned about? <sighs> you have a point, though. What they are doing has already caused troubles among hard-working employers like Thaley. Skipping work together, showing up late together, it's all a lie? Oh, they made silly sad. It's time for revenge. You have been constantly working overtime in secret. No wonder you always seem so anxious whenever I ask you to hang out. But what's the point? Were you trying to pull the wool over my eyes every time you claim to be slacking off? Yep, we can't have you working too hard if we want to improve our ratings. You should have it all figured out. Well then, I suppose you were the ones behind those troublemakers at the first branch annual party, huh? Of course, improving yourself is the only one part of crushing it at the office. You have also got to knock your competitors down by messing with the other branches projects. We can snag a bigger slice of the pie. Since it's come to this, brother, let's take them down together. If we can take them down with happy ass, then we will pound them with our fists. You dare get physical with the overseer? We don't want this, but we have no other choice but to knock your senseless. Then we will figure out what to do next. Oh, they're actually doing this. Typical work monsters. People never change. Sushana, prepare to fight. Those guys are undermining Chiksa's work environment. We can't show them any mercy. Okay, it's time to fight all the employers. I hope it will go fine. And yeah, we will just go fight and skip this part. This 
想躲开。好嘞。As, as with the three little piggies fighting together, the girls quickly subdue the monsters and the three little pigs. It's finally over. I can't believe I could not keep up because they were walking over time behind my back. Don't be upset, Celia. Look what there is a summer. This main issue is that the director is not taking any action to stop it. This Negligence has allowed those problems to flourish. Yeah, think more about other factors. Don't just blame yourself. Tie them up tighter, Susanna. We are hanging over to the... Uh... HR? HQ? No, H. Don't! I have worked so much over time for the second branch. I have even pulled some all-nighters. You can't do this to me. I want to see... Shut up. Silly, oh my god. Huh? Ah. It's Chief Silly. Oh, it's... It's the other Silly. Chief Silly, you're finally here. Please help us. You promised that... If we rank top 10 in the performance review, we would. <laughs> Don't mess up with this, Celia. You have no self respect. You have been shamelessly walking over time behind my back and the branch director. And now you are bragging about it? Behind your back? You didn't know anything about it? Of course I didn't. Those three pigs. Actions were all their own. Neither I nor the branch director were aware. Uh, just look up their names in the system. They were only on temporary payrolls. And I have terminated their contracts now. How, how could you do this? The three little pigs wanted to say more in their defense. But Celia silenced them. With a fearsome glance. Claire. After all this mess you have cursed and trying to attack Celia. <laughs> oh my god, she's not happy about this. Look at this. I'm letting you off lightly by just firing you. I don't even want to see your faces again. And if I do... A blade flashes past, cutting the three little pigs loose. You know the consequences? Y yes, ma'am. We will disappear right away. The three little pigs scurried off with their tails between their legs. It is a summer. What do we do now? They were our evidence. We went through so much trouble sketching them, but now they have all slipped away. Oh yeah, the second branch did get rid of the evidence pretty fast. That's also a little bit sussy here. Temporary workers? I didn't see that one coming. I guess it won't be so easy to bring down the second branch after all. But it's okay. We were never after those lackeys anyway. We are yet to catch the true culprit behind all of this. Are you alright, Celia? I heard your low performance ranking has been giving you a headache. Yeah, but the overseer and Sushana just helped me export the three little pigs' red rays. At least I know that my low ranking isn't because of me being inadequate. I feel much better now. I'm glad to hear that. But you don't need to worry about your performance too much, Celia. I have checked and it turns out your monthly performance is about average. So feel free to take it easier for a few days. But I don't think I have ended in more assignments. 
So why do I feel like my performance rating always ends up higher than it should be at the end of the every month? Has there been a mistake, Chief? Oh no. Oh, do silly. Do extra work. There's no mistakes. I have double checked everything. See you yourself. Chief Celia opened the performance ranking on her phone, showing to Celia among the top 10 employers. You're not only done enough, you are actually exceeded. Here we go again. Come on, don't worry. It's not bad, you know. Hmm, there is a someone noticing something. Oh. Is this the monthly performance ranking? Is Chief City ranked at the top? That's impressive! Yeah, but make no mistake. I only got there because of my efficient working methods. It has nothing to do with putting in extra hours. Sure, you don't need to explain yourself to me. I'm happy that the second branch is blessed with such an extraordinary chief and supportive team members. Thank you, Overseer. Synth. You are here, why don't you show us around your office? I'm very curious about how the second branch always delivers better results than the other branches. I'm afraid I will have to get this clear first. You can visit our office as soon as I have received approval. Bronya! No need, I have already had them cleared. So Bronya is from the first branch, right? Hello, Bronya. Oh, this is adult Bronya. Yeah, we had we got adult May too. So, hey, Celia, had any trouble with work today? No, but something happened on my way over here. I will fill you in shortly. Let me introduce myself. My name is Bronya. I am an engineer at the second branch and good friends with May. Okay, so Bronya is actually second branch. I mean, they she does work with anti-entropy, but she's originally Chixel, right? She told me you were coming, so I got your cleared. The other two friends you got cleared to visit are the Overseer and Miss Sushana. Why did you say that earlier? To save time. Besides, there is no rule that says I have to specify who the visitor is. Thank you. The employees at the second branch are clearly very efficient. Can we go now? Of course, let's go. Colleagues for life. Yes, this little speakers. I will talk to you all. Now? Okay, let's talk. Yeah, so nice, we need to discuss this thing back on track. Okay. Probably there will be uh, some open world quests, which I will do also the bonus part. Uh, I will go throughout all these little cute missions here in a, a bonus episode. So there will be probably three episodes and then one bonus. It's very long to win, to be honest. Here we are, this is our team's office. The lunch break is almost over, so Celia and I must return to our desk now. If you need anything, you can find me there. Yeah. Goodbye, Sushana. See you, Ovasia. Goodbye. Goodbye, Celia. I'm afraid the branch director isn't right here now. So if there's anything you need clearing up, feel free to ask me. Sure, I'm not here for anything in particular. I just wanted to see the work environment here for myself. After all, the outstanding achievements of the second branch raise question about overworking. Nonsense. The amount of tasks I assign is completely reasonable and I never force anyone to work extra hours. The only reason we are so much successful is because this branch director treats everyone like family. 
which naturally boosts morale and work efficiency. Uh, who is the branch a director? Weld? No, he is retired. Is it Tesla? Oh my god, is this like a Tesla? No. Tesla. Einstein. Is it both? Oh, that sounds great. If everyone here is uh, as close as family, then things must get really done quickly. Yeah, all our colleagues feel happy at work. The company has set working times, but our employers are free to come and go as they please. So they can also work extra hours if they want to. I don't think anyone will be able to stop them if they really want to. All I can do is keep myself in check. But I'm sure no one at the second branch would do anything like this. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that sounds like a lie. That's for the best. Come on, Sushana. We can learn a lot from the second branch. Good work ethic. Okay. Okay, uh, ask Celia about the situation to figure out the secrets hidden here. That's actually the employers here. Statues that we can rotate. Oh, okay. Um, do we have to ask Celia about the secrets? Silly, how are you feeling now? Thank you for your concern, Overseer. But I'm fine now. I have finally realized that it's not to my abilities that are my problem. It's all because three little pigs were walking over time behind my everyone's back. That's good to hear. But I still need to ask you some questions. Do you know if any other employees has been secretly working over time like the three little pigs? Um, I'm not sure, but everyone at the branch seems to have an incredibly high performance rating. Does your performance matter a lot here? The little three pigs seem to really care about it, so I'm wondering if there's any mandatory requirements or something. I guess performance is very important. After all, it's the only way to evaluate someone's working abilities. But I don't think there are any mandatory requirements. We have a performance ranking here. So long as you are rank about average, you should be fine. But who determines the average? And what if you drop below the average? I have no idea. I have never been there myself. There is always a big increase in my performance rating towards the end of every month, which is probably the Zilis chief doing. I asked Bronya about it once, but she said it has never happened to her. She told me not to overthink about it. That sounds strange. But if a performance matter a lot here, then chances are others are also trying really hard to improve there. I don't know about that, but Bronya once told me that she has been getting stressed at work because all her keylogs were actively doing meaningless tasks. She was even considering resigning. She even had a fight with Chief Celia over it, and their relationship has been tense since ever. Resigned. Oh yeah, Celia. Have not you been friends with Bronya and Chief Celia for years now? Yeah, back at college, we promised we would work together and be colleagues forever. That's why we all ended up in the second branch after graduating. But 
That's also why Celia refuses Bronya's resignation. She got really angry about it. Sure, we will head over there now. I want to... Want to be co-workers forever? Do we speak with Zili? No. Or oh, with Bonya, I mean. Nice to meet you all. Veteran employee. I don't think we have met before. Is this your first time in the second branch? Welcome. Make yourself at home. We are all like family to the branch director. Their desk was shared by three people, and two of the seats were already taken. There were water bottles of various sizes and styles on the desk, which are signed in the middle that reads pouring water. The employer who greeted the girls was casually dressed and wearing a pair of slippers. His desk not only had various office supplies and work medals on it, but also a variety of snacks, game consoles, and even household items like a toothbrush and a towel. You have really made yourself at home here. You look super chill. You must have been working here for years. Oh, don't say that. It may seem... Domineering in the office, but I have only been working here for years. For a year. I'm just very good at my job, so nobody says anything when I act out a bit. Oh, you have won so many medals in just one year? Impressive! But your colleagues here, the other employer, were the complete opposite of the ones logging in front of the girl. He seems completely absorbed in some thrilling video game. Ah, that's my man. Sorry, I'm busy now. We can chat later. <laughs> He's always like this. Young man nowadays, always playing games. Please, don't take it too seriously. Ah, it's fine. He can play his game. We will just walk around a bit. The game just started. Jeez. Why oh, are you already dead? Is that all you have got? Come on, let me help you. Why are you so sweating? Are you nervous or something? And why aren't you... Saying anything, is there something you can tell us? Game playing employee. You don't start talking, then this meeting is over. Oh, I haven't reported today's work. The employee who was playing a game just a moment ago has the switches to a video meeting and started reporting his work for the day. Just as I thought, your mic was on even though that game does not require communication. I knew something was off. So you were secretly attending a meeting and only switched to that game when we approached. How did you manage to finish so much work today? That's called overtime. You know that, right? Oh, we spotted overtime. I... Veteran employer, were you putting in extra hours behind my back? I was so wrong about you. Don't just start accusing him like that. How are you any better? What, what about me? Tell me, why did you put 2.5 years of experience on your resume when you have only been working for one year? Oh, it's impossible to have 2.5 experience years of experience after just one year of work. Have you been lying to me? Oh, uh, you have got all this wrong. I have not said anything like that. That's a complete lie. I only graduated a year ago. You can 
Look at my graduation certificate if you don't believe me. You were not lying, but it's also true that you have 2.5 years of experience. Your walking hours are much longer than those of an average person because you walked overnight every day. That's why you have double the experience. And judging from all your household belongings, I bet you spent more time in the office than at home. Uh, you're, you're wrong. <sighs> this is my only home. What? I have never left the office. I do everything here at this table. So, I spend as much time at the office as I do at home. Face it, you have lost. This has nothing to do with winning and losing. There is nothing to be proud of here. Yeah? And you? At that moment, the employee who has gone to fetch water returned. As he was about to pick up another empty bottle, Teresa pointed at him, leaving him unsure of what to do. Hey, have I done something wrong? Open your hand, please. Huh? Nice one. Hilarious. Want the water drop if I open my hand? Do you think this is a joke? I have personally used this trick many times. Albeit for different purpose. Sushana, take a closer look at his hand. D don't! Huh? Despite the man's effort to conceal it, Sushana still managed to get a good look at the intricate device in his hand. You? You were sending a Morse code messages while talking, walking around. Just as I thought. You didn't really go fetch water. That was just an excuse to leave your desk. Your real purpose was on walk without anyone knowing. They have caught us all red-handed. Why do you three walk so hard? For better performance rating, of course. The consequences are insane if you fall behind. Okay, I see. So there... Branch manager of the second branch has like a very loose rule, but uh, it's like literally they make themselves being uh, not guilty about this and force people to come to their own conclusion to do some overwork. Huh? What consequences? Just look at the water dispenses and you will understand. That's why I go there all the time. To remind myself of what will happen if I don't work hard. The water dispense? You know what? I'm getting kind of thirsty after all to this talking. Let's get some water, Sushana. Yeah, what's going on here? Company is my home. Of course I live here. Tele, team leader? Ronya? Will do anything to be serious co-worker forever. Oh my god. <gasps> Is this? Uh, the me who used to overtime is dead now. Okay, this is no way. This is the way. This is actually the way. Okay, so he's the, the second branch leader. Smart employer. Hello, do you want some water? Yeah. Are you here for the same reason? What a coincidence. Ah, something about your hairstyle tells me that you barely have time to keep hydrated. Are you also a workaholic by any chance? You bet. I'm not here to drink water. I'm walking. You even admit it. Walking? Yeah, my job is to manage the water dispense. Oh? Is that even a job? Of course it is. Anything can be a job if you treat it like one. The chief is sitting by her computer and I am sitting next to the water dispense. 
that makes me part of the team too, doesn't it? And don't underestimate my role. That's the most unique job here at the second branch. Only the employee with the most special performance ratings get assigned this task. So it's not something to be uh, taken high lightly. So how did you get this job? Simple. I focused only on my own task, never missed any details and ignore anything unrelated to my job. It was my hard work and diligence that earned me the last place on the performance ranking. What? Last place? So I lost my job as a group leader and ended up managing the water dispenser instead. Wait, so you are assigned to the water dispenser if you rank last in the performance rating? Do they really use that dreaded last place elimination system here? Then I have got to work harder. Just don't go around laboring things. This can hardly be called a last place elimination system. I'm still here, ain't I? So I was not actually eliminated, it just, it's just an optimization. Oh, I see, you scared me then. It's just another name for the same thing. So the roles here are assigned according to people's performance ratings. Yeah, the better your abilities, the greater your responsibility. Employees with outstanding performance ratings get assigned to more important positions. While those like me, without a sense of responsibility, end up managing the water dispensal. But it's okay. I'm confident that I will get my desk back. So long as I work hard and manage the water dispensal well. Ah, the issue here are worse than I thought. Shoshana, we can't afford to waste any time. We must solve these problems now. Let's go. Keep up the investigation. Damn, that way ended up. The water dispenser is the acknowledgement of my hard work. In some rough spot here. Walk faster, walk slower. Lastly, walk, uh, talk to Bronya. And this is like those employees here. That are very good at doing their job. The last employee we should look into is Bronya. Avasia, Sushana, what can I do for you? Bronya leaned casually in her chair. The computer monitor in front of her was in screen safe mode, but she continued to swipe her phone, looking completely unconcerned. Okay, Bronya, what extra work do you do? I feel like everyone here is guilty except Silly. As you can see, I'm not working overtime, I'm just checking my group chat. Ah, super cool mesh of figure enthusiast. Arahato fan group. Those are all hobby groups. I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but if you send me a work request, I might take 10 minutes to reply. Outside of work chats though, I can send messages in 18 groups at the same time and save the stickers everyone posted. Checked out this hamster and this kitten. I just added them to my favorites. But of course my favorite are still the rabbit. The sticker showed a mechanical rabbit sitting in front of dozens of screens. Normally it would be hard a machine to feel tired, but looking at the back of this robot made Teresa feel somewhat depressed. Okay, so Zeli, uh, Zeli, I mean Bronya is actually actually not doing any work, but the Project Bunny is the one, right? Oh, huh? what a poor Bunny. It's called Project Bunny 19C. 19C here means that she can work continuously for more than 19 hours a day. I'm pretty sure this is not the original name. Or oh, better to say meaning. 
that's an apt reflection of real life. But Ronya, could you stand up for a moment? Uh oh, Teresa noticing something. How did you find out, Teresa Sama? You were sitting in an awkward position and you put your shoes aside, which reminded me of something I used to do. It's sort of ironic, but it seems the same trick can apply both to slacking off and to the rat race at work. I did something like that when I invented the machine that let you enjoy life without even getting out of bed. But I never thought you would use the technology for work. Teresa pulled the desk aside, revealing the curious device Bronya had repeated hidden underneath. A keyboard for typing with your feet? No way! This is so smart. And no way you can type with your feet a keyboard. Writing code with your feet while pretending to slag it off with your hands. That's very convenient, Bronya. This is like 1000 AQ here. I knew I would not be able to keep it from you, Avasia. But that's merely scratching the surface. Bronya turned on her screen smugly, revealing numerous windows operating rapidly. I see. So you were not using the keyboard to write codes. You were using it to instruct thousands of smart bots to work for you. Precisely. That's why I have a pretty decent performance rating. Just as I thought. Most of the people here are just doing extra work. Why are you doing this, Bronya? To ensure that your performance rating does not fall behind? Of course. If our performance rating drops, we get assigned to meaningless roles. So I have to make sure mine remains high. But something keeps bothering me. Why do you have so much work to do? I have looked at the task list here, but I didn't see many assignments. Well, you might not know about this, but the second branch has something called a voluntary work distribution alongside the usual task list. Just as the name suggests, it's a place where you can take on extra work voluntary. Voluntary work? But isn't that supposed to be a good thing? You work more if you want to, but surely you can also say no if you don't feel like it. But they're all getting pressure. This is like really good system here, the second branch. Really, well, I mean, smart, I guess. But you will fall behind if others take on extra task and you don't. Then none of you should be taking on any of those assignments. If nobody took on extra work, then everybody could have an easier time. Eh, there is a summer. She... Bronya wrote as she looked at Sushana. She's still new to work, so it's only natural for her to have unrealistic expectations. Please don't take it seriously. Huh? Teresa Sama? Bronya? Why are you both looking at me like that? Did I say something wrong? Now, Sushana, you were right. I'm glad that your training has not been in vain, but the problem is more complex than you think. Some things are hard to explain, if you have not experienced them firsthand. How about I help you to register for a workgroup account, so you can see what it's like. Sure, I will bring everyone back to normal again. 10 minutes later. Oh, oh, and the next task is... What are you doing, Sushana? Stop! Quit walking over time like them! Teresa Sam, I'm not working over time. It's this is all voluntary. You buy the reckons that voluntary work does not count as overtime. Huh? Uh, as just as I thought. New voluntary request. Editing the draft of the resort garden plan. 
Duration one day. Revenue two days of salary. Wow, a new task. I have got to snatch it. Give me the job. I only need half a day to finish it. Huh? But... Leave it to me. I will only take a day salary. Wait, you... I will only take half a day salary. I only need one hour to finish it. I... Cut it off, everyone. I'm going to take this job. I won't use any of my work time and I will do it on free. What's more, it's... I will only accept 10% of the performance credits. The rest can go to the director. This is very saucy here. Deal. Deal. Darn it, I miss it again. You missed it? What kind of task was that anyway? Have you forgotten why you are here? I'm here to... I'm here to stop everyone from working extra hours. They all agreed at first. But they just keep taking on more and more. And I ended up copying them to prevent my performance rating from falling behind. It's okay, at least you have come to your senses now. So now you understand why it's impossible to simply refuse those extra tasks. I understand now. All it takes is for one person to go back on the award and then everyone else has to join them in working overtime. When you think about it, it's like that Teresa Summer said about getting to work five minutes early. Yeah, this is as what a toxic work environment looks like. Now you see how messed up it is. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry Teresa Summer. It was evil of me to arrive at work earlier. You should punish me. No, you are taking it too far. But Bronya, I feel like you just exposed the true face of the second branch to us on purpose. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of this meaningless competition. That's why I reported that toxicity here at the second branch. So... You are Mace Whistleblower? But we don't have enough evidence right now. I doubt things would get any better here, even if we punish everyone for working overtime. After all, the actions of employee are merely a reflection of the director's will. So the director of the second branch is responsible for everything that's happening. I need some evidence of the director working overtime. I'm sorry, but I don't have any. If I did, I would have put in a report long ago. The director is very discreet about her work. I don't think she leaves any evidence. Only the group leader are privy to the details. So I suppose... We should work on Chief Celia. I bet the top-ranking employer on the performance rating list has a very unique way of working. Let's go meet her. Okay, that, that, that's... Oh, oh, we got Bronya playable! Hey, she is. Good. Hey, team leader. This is... Not, it is very suspicious to be top leader here. When the group came to confront Celia, she happened to be reading a novel, laughing now and then at the story. Reza Sama, I just observed her secretly with my phone. She has not opened any work apps or switched between screens. Everything seems normal. Okay, but something still smells fishy here. Chief Celia, are you reading novels again? Yeah, what's up, Ronya? I wanted to report my work, but why are you typing while reading a novel? 
Huh? Oh, yeah. You have been typing non-stop the whole time. I? I was just writing some notes. On the funny parts. That seems like a lot of comments. And why does the layout change every time you type? Is that not a website for novel? But a real-time editing tool? What are you talking about? You have got the wrong end of the stick. Anyway, if this website is making you suspicious, then I will just stop using it. Silly close the web, side and open a game on the desktop. Wait, why is the pop-up in the bottom right corner still there even though you have closed the website? Huh? And that picture seems awfully similar. It looks like... The meeting room? Yeah, it has to be the meeting room. Silly, are you having a secret meeting? I think I can hear people talking through your earphones. Huh, what's wrong with this computer? All those stupid pop-ups. Maybe it's a virus. Do you want Sushana to fix it for you? There is no need. I can handle it myself. Uh, my stomach does not feel so good. Please excuse me. I need to use the ladies' room. Silly grabbed her computer and disappeared anxiously into a toilet. We are onto something. Susanna, follow her. Oh, but she's having an emergency brawl moment. I don't think it's right to disturb her right now. What do you mean by it's not right? Didn't you see her taking her computer in there? I bet she's walking. Now is the perfect time to expose her. Are you saying that she's secretly walking over time, Teresa Summer? But what do I do? Just do this and this. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Shana entered the room, Sally disappeared into a and pulled a lever. Then... Someone just turned off the lights? A scream emanates from the room and Celia scurried out of it, her face contorted with anger. I'm sorry, Chief Celia, it was me. I didn't realize it controlled the electricity. Did I just do something wrong? You just make a huge mistake! Do you know my computer shut down after the blackout? I was only halfway through a work report and I would just finish putting together the promo poster after a whole night work. Not to mention the project plan I spent the entire weekend on. And I didn't see any of it. Ah, I did not realize you worked so hard. Of course I do work hard. Do you know how much I sacrificed to get to my current position? I admire your work ethic, Chief Celia. You... Are you making fun of me? You are the reason I got exposed. As a matter of fact, you are not the only one who were exposed. We have discovered... Lots of misconduct here at the office. What excuse do you have this time, Chief Celia? Are all your team members, including yourself, on a temporary payroll? Ah. Ronya, did you blow the whistle? I was involved, yes. You! You are the traitor of the second branch! Stop it, Celia. Walking extra hours is harming for all of us. You only got your current position throughout misconduct. Don't you think you are getting a bit too obsessed with your group leader title? You don't understand anything, Bronya. Don't you forget, we promised to be colleagues with Celia forever. So you want Celia to put in extra hours as well? Haven't you realized that she has already very stressed 
in the current work environment. That's why I'm doing all of this. The performance rating of the group members are calculated by their leaders. So long as I remain in that role, I can distribute my own credit. And if I can get enough credits, Celia won't drop to the bottom of the rankings. Yeah, that was quite obvious that Dark Celia doing this. What are you talking about, Chief Celia? Celia, when did you get here? I hear some noises over here, so I came to check in out. What did you mean by distributing performance credits? Nothing. It's none of your business. But I hear you mention me. Does my performance rating? You earned it through a hard work. It has nothing to do with anyone else. Silly. I get why you're doing this, but I have realized that working overtime creates a vicious cycle. Do you still remember Bunny? She jumped out of a window because she could not handle the stress anymore. So the traffic sitting in front of all the screens is real? Wait, she jumped out of window? Then did she? Yes. She used her outstanding jumping ability to escape from the office. After that, she announces she would be nothing more than an ordinary rabbit for the rest of her life. I saw it on the news. Stop it, Chief Silly. Help us export the branch director for working overtime. Only then we can restore order to our work life. But I don't give a darn about it. I don't mind working extra hours on putting all nighters. If it means I get to work alongside Celia for the rest of my life. But she's already feeling the effect of the toxic environment here at the second branch. You know that. I have an announcement to make. I refuse to work overtime anymore. Oh man. It is also... Also, it's. I think it's time for us also to get the... Adult Celia model because I doubt that uh, she looks like this after a couple of years. Uh, but nevertheless, of that, um, yeah, the the dark Celia or like Billiona as we call her, um, is always trying to be more direct and don't think too much. Just is there just more of the worker type. So it's nice that we have Bronyash who is probably thinking a little bit in advance. Uh, wait, but if you don't do that, then... Then I will be uh, shaked by the branch director due to my low performance rating, right? But it doesn't matter anymore, because I want to leave anyway. I only stayed because I, you would not allow it. I have had enough of this life. Working extra hours has never made me happy. Every time I finish my task, fresh one appears. The faster I work, the shorter my working hours. The shorter my working hours, the more tasks there are. When I take on those tasks, my working hours increase, but my efficiency drops as a result. So high efficient ultimately leads to low efficiency and short working hours eventually becomes endless working hours. If I continue with this messed up work style, there will come a point of no returns. That's why I'm quitting right now. But you promised Celia, don't you think it's irresponsible to quit now? So I am the reason why you have to work so hard, Celia? If that's the case, then I agree with Bronya. It's not true, Siri. No, I get it now. I don't want you to push over so hard, Siri. If I'm the one holding you back, then maybe I should leave too. No, I won't allow it. Neither of you can leave today. Huh, Teresa Sama? I think it's getting weird. What are we supposed to do? 
They are a total mess now. So let's just run. What? Is this a fight? Make sure to note that the objection for this stage has changed. You will as long as the employee reaches their designated tiles. When you join the fight. Story locked. Kiana! Uh, run a great OE damage dealer. Don't fight with Siri, team leader. Reach the goal and you win. Okay. So, yeah, we will just do this then. Kiana, 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 for life. This game team leader Celia and Sickleman. Hi, Chan. It's a small eye chan. Oh, finally we made it out. Hey, what's going on? Why is it so loud here? That voice? Wait a second. What are you uh, thinking, Bronya? Someone important is here. It's Director Ai chan Is this the Director? Damn. I feel like this music makes it terrifying right now. Really? Ronya? Are you going to come and greet me? I hear that new blood has arrived today, so I came to check it out. The director? Is a cabbage? Watch out what you say. I'm an organic cabbage. You will have it now. I will have you now. Forget it. I will let that slide if you are all busy walking. After all, I am the one in charge when the overseer isn't here, and the glory to the second branch shall be restored under my diligent watch. Seems like you are doing a marvelous job of running the second branch. Want a word of price? But of course. Wait, overseer, what are you doing here? Long time no see, Ai chan. N nice to see you, Oasia. I hear that we have a visit today, but it never crossed my mind that you would come here in person. It's an awful act of vigilance on my part, failing to welcome you any moment you arrived. It's fine. I have never been one for formalities anyway. You should know that. But I believe the second branch is putting too much emphasis on work. Look at how tired Sushana is, and she's only been working for 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't even dare to blink. It feels like if I shut my eyes for a moment, I will never keep up with everyone. Ai chan, from what I can see, you and us, your subordinates have been working over time without others knowing, right? What? What are you talking about? We have just arrived at the office, so I could hardly be putting in extra hours. But I already have evidence of you subordinates doing that. It seems that some of them are very dedicated to their work. Reza explained everything that happened. What? Chief Silly, did you tell your team to work overtime while I was gone? It seems I got the wrong measure of you. You are on a temporary payroll from now on. Ah. I have heard this one already. I thought you said all employers here are like family. Well, 
they are, are not once they are fired. Don't ever think about using Siri as your cape god. You are all behind all of this mess. You are the one who encouraged us to start this meaningless competition. I agree. You are the one who drew up the regulation, branch director. Don't throw around accusation without any proof. I don't assign any extra task. No, I do force anyone to work extra hours. I didn't even punish those who come to work late or leave early. That seems to be true. If anyone has been working overtime, it's only because they have been pushing over themselves too hard. Silly, be honest. Did I ever instruct you to put in extra hours? Yeah, you didn't done directly, but indirectly, and probably uh, it looks like Aichan is the director here. You accepted those tasks voluntarily. Nope. See? They have all been doing it on their own account. It has nothing to do with me. But you said we must put performance above all. If it were not for all that principle, then I would not need to work extra hours. Oh, perhaps you misheard me. What I mean was that when it comes to work, we should probably have an attitude of put performance about all. It's all just one big misunderstanding of Asiya. She got the wrong idea. But thank you for finding out. That's, that's really sussy stuff here. People like her will corrupt our system, so I will make sure to deal with her. I think I've he heard something similar before. I will corrupt the system? Have you forgotten how I handled your overtime records every time you burned the midnight oil? I was the one who booked the meeting's room when you wanted to call a secret meeting, and half of my achievements have been written down in your work reports. Working at night? Secret meetings? and stealing your subordinates' achievements. This has gone beyond encouraging meaningless competition. This is workplace repression. It's all just talk. Where is it evidence? We can only prove that the employers here have been working extra hours. None of the evidence points out to me. Of course we have proof. My computer just shut down a moment ago. So I did not get to submit the request to erase your overtime records last night. I'm sure we can find some evidence from where you walked yesterday. What? How oh, irresponsible of you! I beg your pardon, Ovasia, but it might occur to me that I forgot to turn off my game in my office. I need to go harvest my crops. <laughs> Please excuse me. I enjoy your visit. She got away. She must be off to uh, destroy the evidence. Go after her. We can't let her get away with this. Oh, Ai-chan. Ai I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No. A uh, puzzle, I guess. Oh, oh, I haven't run this far for ages. This is like half of a year exercise for me. Maybe we can just get here next time. It is a summer. We must not give up here. We are so close to catching up with the director Ai Chan. But I can't even see her anymore. What is this place anyway? Why is she running so fast? This is a selection pathway. You have to pass a selection exam if you want to get across. The director knows this place like the back of her head. She can navigate throughout her even with her eyes closed. So it's only natural if she makes it through quickly. Selection exam? Yeah, the name is self-explanatory. It's a work-related exam 
for the employers who have made it so far. It simulated various work scenarios. The road ahead, for instance, is a door simulation. After activating a timer, you can earn performance credits every time you pass through the access control. No wonder some of you can clock in 30 times a day. But that feels like a dishonest way of getting more credits. Aichan is fast. Seems like she has spent a fair amount of time earning those credits. Yeah, I bet she knows this place better than her own home. <sighs> but it just feels meaningless to me. How can this even be called walking? I can't even stand watching this pure waste of effort. It would be more productive to spend that time reading manga, eating snacks and listening to music. Well, you might not want to do this, but it's your only choice. You have got to make it through if you want to catch her. But I don't want to move another inch. Huh? Reza was suddenly lifted up. She then turned around to see Sushana's energetic smile. Sushana, what are you doing? It's been a hard day, Teresa Sama. So leave the rest to me. We will catch Ainchan together. I will carry you through it. Wow! Oh, can't you just at least carry me in another way? Don't just slide me over your shoulder like this. <laughs> like a sack of potato. Pass through the evaluation test. What do I have to do? Okay. 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 Okay, just run. Easy enough. Maybe a, a little bit of fighting. Dang, she got away. We finally got past the sim door simulator. It is a summer. We will catch Aichan in no time. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Teresa fell asleep on my shoulder. She must have been walking too hard. I must share her burden. Give it all yours, Sushana. Wait, Sushana. I can see some work monsters ahead. This is a second exam, which is designed to test your ability to walk over time. To get through this partway, we must defeat them first. Huh? More, more fighting? Be careful. Those monsters are designed to challenge top rating employers who work 24-7, so we can't underestimate their strength. Stop it, Chief Seely! You're making me nervous! If we keep this up, we might not make it out in time. Phone ringtone. You got a message. You have got a message. It's a message from May for Teresa Summer. Teresa Summer, wake up. Uh -huh. uh -huh. to put the phone in front of Teresa's face. Teresa stretched longitly on Sushana's shoulder, her finger moving unconsciously to unlock the screen and open the message. Hello, Awasia. I have got a new lead. A certain individual might have evidence for the branch director walking over time. She's not far from the second branch. Huh? Teresa Sam is still sleeping? Do I have to handle this alone? But I still need to go after the branch director. Sushana, you go after the branch director. I will take care of this new lead. Is that Bronya? Good. Things are so much easier with you on our side. It's all thanks to your report that we managed to get to the bottom of things and expose the toxic work environment as a second branch. It was nothing. I'm also helping myself. I am going to check out May's lead. Sushana, go after the branch director. Okay. Oh, I'm super tired myself, but... Fight for perfection! 
Hey, Susanna won't give up. Okay. A little bit of fight, which will be probably doing skipping, and there's like cannons. Actually, it will be probably even very fast anyway. I'm very grateful that um, the story missions are very easy as well. I don't even fear to not be able to um, complete everything. Maybe I will not be able to do all the side tasks, but at least the main story will get the bottom of it. Uh, do I need to go... Don't need to do this, all of this, we just... Go here. Oh my god, I also see the three pigs. Also, it's been a while since we got our voiced scene. And the event is running for quite a long, like, I mean, part two. I'm kind of questioning myself what's going on. I... I am running out of my strength. After an extended period of running, Susanna finally exhausted her stamina. She carefully sat down Teresa, who was still sleeping on her back. Uh, I don't want to get up. Teresa Sama, please wait here for a while. I'm almost there. Yeah. Congratulations, Sushana. You're almost there. Man, she speaks like a villain. He is the eldest. Congratulations. Congrats. Congratulations, Sushana. Congrats again. What's happening? Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Aichan. Wait. Wasn't I pursuing Aichan and the little three pigs? Weren't you fired already? What's going on here? Oh, we... we They rehired us after we uh, repented for our sins. Huh? So soon? They have already learned from their mistakes and shown to change. It must have been a uh, tough day for you, Sushana. Thank you for helping the second branch. You have been awarded the best employee of this contest. A contest? Yeah. Everything you went through after coming to the second branch has been part of a contest. To select the best employee? Sushana, you have got proof in your wisdom by seeing right throughout the three little pigs scheme. You turned down Chief's Zelia's invitation to take part in the meaningless competition and in doing so stay true to yourself this is i don't believe any of this and you just proved that you are made of by traversing our corridor of trials no you are ranked first on our performance leaderboard you are the best employer in the second branch no, in all of the Chicksa Corporation. The best employee of the Chicksa Corporation? Is this real? Me? It is, Sushana. You have earned this glory thanks to your own abilities. Here, we have already prepared your podium. Go on and claim your trophy. Yeah, maybe this is what I was working so hard for. Even I might become the best employee in Shiksal. Ah, uh, it's so noisy. How are things going, Sushana? Huh? What? What are you doing, Sushana? Teresa struggled to open her sleepy eyes, only to find an overjoyed Sushana walking towards an elaborate podium while Aichan was. Deleting her own overtime records. 
Huh? Just as I thought. No employee can resist the temptation of online rankings. Even Sushana can be swayed by the title of the best employer. Let alone my subordinates. Now is the perfect time to tell Sushana and Obasi why I delete all the evidence. Stop, Sushana! She's playing for time! Huh? You're awake, Teresa Summer? The branch director just told me that I have won the best employer in Chicksell Corporation, so. Wait, I should be chasing Ai Chan. Was all of this supposed to distract me? Uh, it's too late now. I have already deleted the last records. Your accusations are all based on nothing now. Oh no, we were so close. I'm sorry, Teresa Sama. I should not have let that honorary title go to my head. Is it really impossible to stop her now? Should we just give up? Not yet, Avasia. Huh? Chriseo! <laughs> yeah! Oh man, she got such a cool outfit here. Okay, so Griseo is also here. I'm glad I made it in time. Aichan, it's time to settle some old... ...cause. I made it. Silly seems like Aichan, let's settle an old scores. A while earlier? Believe in Chicksell Corporation? It cause it gave me a chance to realize my dreams. So that's where we get our voice seen finally after so long. So I joined the anti-entropy branch of Chicksell Corporation and work hard. But I also promised myself to never do any overtime. <laughs> What's going on? Eh? Huh? I mean... Why are the Vitas... Like... Uh... Is she like a detective or some sort of? Or oh, secret... She looks like Yakuza. I think she's like more of the... Maybe there is like some third branch. I walked in a way the overseer believed in. But branch director Ai Chan had a different approach. She arrived at the office early every day and stayed late into the night. I was okay with it. But then, she expected us to follow suit, pushing ourselves hard and competing against each other. What does any of this have to do with me? My seven disciples and I Live a self-sufficient life in this three-act art studio. Whatever you choose to compete or take it easy, it doesn't affect us at all. It's, it's also... Oh my god, if we get Rita in this event too, it will be great. Boss <laughs> has already told you she's completely Deleted all the outsource work requested by Chicksal. You have no reason to nag her about any unfinished task. I'm sorry. There seems to be a misunderstanding. That's not what I wanted to say. I hear about your from a friend who organized their annual end year party. At the Chicksal's HQ. 
，你曾经接过爱将的外包需求，而且也被他压榨过，手头还保存了当初爱将和你的对接记录。Uh, and the, she's talking about May, and May knows Chriselle. I want a more of this. I kind of wish that we were back to the real Earth. But okay. She mentioned that you once took an outsourcing job from Aichan, who exploited your team in the process. She also told me that you kept a record of communication from those tasks. 我想从你手中买下那些记录，并雇佣你作为证人，向德丽莎大人检举爱将内卷的行为。I would like to buy those records from you and hire you as a witness to expose Ai Chan's inappropriate behavior to Teresa Sama. 那个顶着两个包菜的家伙我还记得，经常加一些无理需求。I still remember that woman with two cabbages on her hat. She often added unreasonable tasks. 而且还催得很紧，大半夜还和我们对需求。And she was very pushy. She would go over the task with us in the middle of the night. 没错，明明我下班后都把工作消息屏蔽了，她却不知道从哪儿弄到了我们的私人电话，打电话过来催。Yeah, I always block work messages after knocking out, but she got all private numbers from who knows where and haunted us. Of our phone calls. So evil of the thing is, every time I got a hundred demands, he finally wants to get the very beginning of the version. It's completely in the search for trouble. And you know what the first part is? After I changed my work a dozen times, she would ask for the original version. It was like she just wanted to make our lives difficult. I already warned her. I'm so fed up with her. Lord, do we have to agree to this? Should we agree to this, boss? That I can't do. I, I can't. Why? What you want, I'm willing to give you. Why? If you give me anything you want. Brony, I'm sorry. 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 那么压榨你们的爱将就会得到我的揭发。可是你却用雇佣的名义来与我交易，这是工作，是压榨。If you would come to me as a May's friend, then I would have gladly exposed Ai Chan, who has been persecuted you at work. But now you are here trying to strike a deal in the name of the work contract. I can't tolerate this. Kind of exploitation. You just put me as a worker to help you, not as a partner. You even don't want to call me a "bitch." You're a bitch. 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 You're a Persecutors. Please help me, executioner. Please help me, Miss Executioner. Very well. Very well. 小红，去把我的装备拿出来。是时候向那个家伙拔出画笔了。Red, fetch my gear. It's time to draw my paintbrush. 明白。Understood. We get no result playable too. Ronya. Sorry for the delay, Teresa Sama. Based on May's information, we located the art studio that used to handle Ai Chan's outsourced task. Oh, Vita! <laughs> Rachel Vita. Do you always see a leading a rebellion to overthrow the branch director? So cool. You girls are amazing, oh Vitas. While they were talking, the Seven Vita has ceased control, preventing Aichan from escaping. Oh, Aichan, I have backups of your outsourced task from earlier. 
and our communicator records, most of which took place after work. There's enough here to prove that you have been working overtime. Oh, that's a cool sword. Viseo, thank you. That will help us. Condemned Ai-chan. You are the overseer of Chiksa, I presume. It gave me quite a fright when Miss Bronya came to find me. I must say, you have done a lot of work that seems to be beneath your position as an overseer. I just fell out my heart. I never expected that one day I would be praised as someone who has done a lot of work. I'm not helping you because I agree with the idea of slacking off at work, but because I'm convinced that pointless competition is the wrong path. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of slacking off either. It doesn't matter to me whatever someone wants to work or chill, but it's not worth letting work get in the way of living. After all, everyone is paid to their job. We don't owe the company anything, so it's completely unnecessary to spend your personal time working. And there's no point in doing those meaningless extra tasks. They will just add to your workload. Work serves as a pathway to realization of your personal values, yet it should never define your ultimate purpose. I trust you have come to understand this by now, Sushana. Well, well said, Teresa Sama. Work should be something you used to blow off your own trumpet. It should not be a, a way to improve yourself. I really want to be uh, an outstanding employer at Chixel who can hold my own. In this case, I must stay in touch with my true nature, feeling rather than paralyzing myself. I want to excel, not just earn a superficial title. That's why I need to put more effort into finding valuable work and completing it using my own skill set. That's how I will ensure meaningless progress, both for my personal ground and to expect my gratitude for your guidance, Teresa Sama. Actually, I don't really mind. Um, I'm not sure if all goals are light here, but I suppose all is well that ends well. Don't you agree, Ai-chan? All eyes were fixed on the branch director, who had nowhere to escape. Please hear me out. I... I never pushed anyone to work over time. There's no need to explain, Ai-chan. I get it. Overseer? All the data, documents, and performance revealed forms you have left behind will explain everything more clearly and objectively than you ever could. Ah! It is too late to delete them now. Miss Bronya and I have printed out all the evidence of your overtime work. Every one of these documents will be handed over to Overseer Teresa for review. Everyone will know about the toxic work environment as a second branch now. I see. Well, in that case... In that case... I will have to enact my final resort. It's time to self-destruction! Oh no, she's going to destroy the computer and the evidence! All of you, stop her! Okay, it's time for the... Oh, new player has joined the team, it's over... Grisel! A honest healer then grant HP and increased attack, which is support, huh? Uh... Hit the monster protecting her and you will in easy peasy. Join the team, let's see what's happening. Uh no, why have no my my Fuhua is not leveled up. Damn, I have to 
to play with not leveled Fuho, I guess. While Cresceo is busy restoring HP, she can also increase attack on the teammates within the range. Okay, we will just defeat everything with Sealy and Ronya. And yeah, we will just speed up this up too. And this is probably the last one. I kind of... Well, I will speak about it later. Okay. We done? Nice. And okay, there's a second voice scene I direct after. One, two, three, four. Following Criseo's lead, the team discovered numerous work documents in an underground warehouse at Ai Chan's office. You're going to lose count, Susana. Even Barney would need a lot of time to count so many files. According to our transaction records, there should be more in her private work documents stash. Yes, overseer. Are you the one who collected all that work? I, I, I have no idea. Who could have placed it into my office? Apart from you, who else would enter your office? Do you think it was me? Oh, oh, I, I didn't, I didn't dare to work on any of it. Are I haven't done anything to any of the tasks or documents. No, none of them. I swear. Is that so? But with so much work left undone, isn't that a bit of a wasteful? That's true. In that case, then let me... Huh? Oh, uh, no, no, that's not right. I will leave it to you, Ovasia. I have always struggled with those tasks. Uh -huh, very well. Since you have handed them over to me voluntarily, I will make an exception and help you out. Oh, Wow, is Teresa-sama going to handle all the work by herself? Knowing Teresa-sama, even a mountain of task would be a breeze and completed in no time. But how will she do it? I am excited.
I wanna rewatch this cutscene more and more now. Oh, that's much better. 如此高效又不羁的工作处理方式啊，不愧是德丽莎大人。Only Teresa Samu could come up with such an efficient and ordinary way to deal with work. 我的工作，攒了这么多年的工作，全都全都化为灰烬了。Oh, my work. I have set it up so many years, and now it's reduced to ashes. All of it. But it's okay. There's my friend in there. I'm not going to pay him. The Lord Mayor is very angry, but maybe I'm not going to be able to deal with him. But it's okay. As long as I'm still here, I will always get more. The overseer seems angry, but maybe she's not in the mood to punish me. 只要我还坐在支部长的位置上，就能继续践行那份手册，继续让大家拼命工作，提高我的业绩。So long as I'm still the branch director, things will continue to follow the protocol, and I will make sure everyone works their parts, so my performance rating will improve. 嘿嘿，到时候这次反抗我的员工们都不许上班时间喝水。嘿嘿 ，I won't allow anyone who. They find me to drink water at work. Yeah, 光顾着处理工作，差点忘了处理你啦。Oh, I just—I was so focused on working that I almost forgot to deal with you, I Chan. Huh? From today on, I Chan will no longer be the branch director of the Overseer Branch. This area of the big business is given to Bronya. From this day forth. Aichan is no longer be in charge of the second branch. Instead, Bronya will take on that role. 等等，我当支部长，真的假的？<laughs> okay, we again have this double talk. So the Bronya said, "Wait, me, branch director, really?" And Celia, the dark Celia, said, "Wait, here, the branch director, really?" 当然是真的，毕竟总得有人处理这里的事务吧，不然就得我自己来了。Man, I'm still missing Tesla and Walt and Einstein. Of course, I mean, someone has got to handle things here, or else I will have to do it myself. Hmm. <coughs> 考虑到爱将内卷一案，你不仅没有同流合污，甚至卧薪尝胆找到了给爱将定罪的关键性证据，是表现最好的员工，自然也应由你接管他的工作。Regardless of the Aichan incident. You refused to collude with her and actively worked from the inside to gather key evidence against her. That makes you the best employer. So, you should be the one who takes over the her position. Although my good intentions are not so, but I will accept the overseer's arrangements. I will change the rules here to make everyone have a normal work environment. I didn't plan this, but I will go along with the overseer's direction. From now on, all the protocols will change, and everyone will enjoy a functional work environment here. Ha! Do it good. Just don't let me be careless. Everything is good. Other people, do you have any objections? All right, great. So long as I don't have any extra work, that's fine by me. What about everyone else? Any objections? I have no objections. It looks like he will be a good collaborator. None from me. Seems like she is going to make a great partner. So, in this way, we are willing to accept your needs. In that case, we can accept your further task. Thank you, Bronya, sister. Congratulations, sister Bronya. Wait, wait. Why? He has the appearance of a lazy boss. Can he be a good branch director? Wait, why? She never cared much about work. What makes you think she is be a good director? Well, that's because I think exactly that's why. Xie, 放心吧，我相信 Bronya 姐姐会是一个好领导，不会再让我们恶性竞争的。Don't worry, Celia. I am certain Bronya will do great and stop all this pointless competition. 我知道，你之所以想当支部长，也是为了这一点。That's why you want to be a branch director, isn't it? I'm not. Not at all. Then why do you always 
，都会把自己的一部分工作成果故意分到我的业绩本上吗？ Then why did you add some of your achievements to my performance rating at the end of every month? 只是因为，只是因为你正好和我名字一样，我不小心写错了而已。Because, because you and I happen to share the same name, so I registered them under the wrong person. <laughs> 是啊，谢谢你。不过以后你再也不需要为我操心了。Thank you, Silly. But you don't need to worry about me anymore. 嗯，我会给大家一个没有压力的工作环境，让我们一起努力，当一辈子同事吧。Yeah, I will create a stress-free work environment. Let's work hard together, so we can be lifelong colleagues. 和你这种家伙当一辈子同事，我才才好吧。只要能继续和希儿在同一间办公室，谁当支部长我无所谓。Work together with someone like you for the rest of my life? I, I, I don't think. Fine, I don't care who the branch director is, so long as I get to work in the same office as Celia. 既然大家都没意见，那就这么定了。Well, since you're all okay with it, then it's decided. 严谨的安排，恰当的发言，既不会让下属感到压力过大，也不会让下属恃宠而骄。真是一场精彩绝妙的工作交接，不愧是德丽莎大人，我又学到了。Thoughtful arrangements, precise feedback, and balanced treatment of subordinates. What a smoothly executed personal change. There is a sum of truly excess in this area. I have gained it much valuable insight from her again. 那个助教大人，我知道我犯了大错。也不会有将功补过的机会了，所以如果没有别的事儿，我就先走了。哎，阿巴西啊 ，I know I have made a huge mistake. I don't deserve a second chance. So we'll just get going if there's nothing else. 等等，我允许你走了吗？你是不是忘了还有什么东西没给我 ？Wait, did I say you can leave? I believe there's something you still need to return to me. 交了，电脑也还回去了，甚至连偷偷放兜里的小零食也没敢带走。嗯，德丽莎大人，放我走吧。And、but I have already handed over my name tag, my computer, and even the snacks in my pocket. Please let me go, Teresa Sama. 还在继续装傻？你知道我在说什么？把那份天命工作手册交出来。Still playing dumb? You know what I'm talking about. Hang over the Chicksa's work manual. Eh? Human Work Manual. Ah, this is definitely what Dr. Lisa Da Ren said before. We need to find the perfect work manual. Ah, the Chicksa's work manual. Oh, the perfect work manual that we're supposed to find. Teresa Sama mentioned that before. Ah, you are also joking. Human Work Manual. Not when your father died at your mother's death. You must be joking again. It disappeared when your grandfather passed away, didn't it? 别以为我不知道，那本手册现在就在你手里。你之所以变得对工作如此上心，也是因为读了那本天命工作手册，对吧 ？You think I don't know? You have it right now, huh? That's also why you have become so obsessed with work. You have read it all, right? You, you know about that? 我早就知道了，只是一直懒得来找你而已。不过现在，既然我已经来到了你的面前 ，I found out ages ago. I just did not bother to come find you. But since I'm right in front of you now, 哎呀，立马把手册交给我。I can hand over the manual at once. 啊，好累。不过总算都搞定了。Oh, I'm so tired, but I'm glad everything sorted out. 德丽莎大人，文纲和天命工作手册都已经到位，我们接下来该怎么做？ There is some. We have bought the solium and the Shakespeare's work manual now. What should we do next? 我实在想不清楚，这两样东西和创造完美的工作者有什么联系？ I don't understand how they are connected to create the perfect worker. 
。我问你，苏珊娜，一个完美的工作者需要拥有什么素质 ？Let me ask you something, Susanna. What does a perfect worker look like? 嗯，对待工作的热情，敢于工作的勇气，坚持工作的勤劳。嗯 ，have enthusiasm for work. Be brave enough to take the initiative. Be highly diligent and hardworking. 错错错，苏珊娜，你想的太复杂了。一个完美的工作者，只需要一具永不疲劳的身躯和一颗从不厌倦工作的心。Oh, wrong, 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 Susanna. You're making this way too complicated. All a perfect worker needs is a body that never tired and a mind that never get. Bored. Oh, I understand. Using the body to build the body, using the mind to work hard to train the heart, you can create a perfect worker. Oh, I see. We can create the perfect worker if we build a body with solium and a soul with the Shiksa's work manual. I'm afraid, body with solium. Yes, you finally understand. Exactly. You have finally wrapped your head around it. 那么，德丽莎大人准备让谁成为这名完美的员工呢？我马上去通知他。So who will you transport into the perfect worker, Teresa Sama? I will let her know right away. 不，已经不需要通知了。那位即将诞生的完美员工，并不是外面的任何一个人。No, there's no need for that. Our soon-to-be perfect worker isn't anyone out here, there. 不是外面的任何一个人。也就是说，要成为完美员工的人，就在这间屋子里。德丽莎大人已经够完美了，所以肯定不是他自己。那这里剩下的人选只有。It's not anyone out there. So that person is inside this room. It is a summer is perfect enough already. So it can be here. That only lives one person. What? Me? 随心所欲的德丽莎大人似乎是会做出这种事，但我才刚入职不久，经验、能力、资历都不够，会不会被人怀疑是关系户？哇，德丽莎大人 always follows her instincts， so it does seems like something he would do. However, I only recently started working here. I don't have the experience or skills necessary for the position. People might even start thinking I got the job through nepotism. 可是，万一德丽莎大人做出了决定，我也不好拒绝。But if Teresa Sama has made up her mind, then I can hardly say no. 她就是。Our candidate is. 她就是。She is. 哦，不行不行，果然我还是不行。Oh, the apocalypse! No, no, no! I can't accept. I can't do that. What? Susanna, do you have any opinion on this decision? Susanna, do you have something to say about my decision? Opinion? Uh, uh, no, no. Ah, right. I was just thinking. Otto, the king. He is not dead yet, right? Ah, no, not at all. I was just thinking. I thought Otto Sama has already passed away. 对啊，所以我们才要收集魂罡和天命工作手册啊。Yeah, that's why we exactly needed to collect the solium and the Chixer's work manual. 啊，魂罡用来重构他的身体，而由他撰写的天命工作手册中又包含了他生前的工作之魂。The solium is for rebuilding his body. And the Shiksa's work menu he brought contains his work ethics and spirit. 只要把这两件物品融为一体，就能让它重现于世。现在计划一切顺利，晚上爷爷就能复活了。We can bring him back by merging the two objects together. Everything is going according to plan. Grandpa will be back in no time. 呃，可是我们不是要创造完美员工吗？为什么要复活奥托大人 ？But but but aren't we supposed to create the perfect worker? Why do we have to resurrect Otto Sama? 
？当然是因为，世界上没有比爷爷更加完美的工作者，创造完美员工和复活爷爷这两件事是等同的。The reason is pretty obvious. Grandpa was, and remains the most perfect worker the world has ever seen. Therefore, by resurrecting Grandpa, we can create the perfect worker. 只要他回到天命，一天就能做我们一周的工作量。Once he's back at Chicksal, he will finish a week's work in one day. 所以，苏珊娜，你再也不会被工作上的难题困扰了。啊不，不如说，你和我再也不需要工作了。So you will never be troubled by work problems ever again, Shana. In other words, you and I will never have to work again. It finally occurred to Sushana that the legendary former overseer has dedicated his life to researching methods to revive the dead. What was happening now could be considered a form of resurrection as well. Under her shocked gaze, Teresa placed the solium and the chicks' work manual into a transparent refining cabin. From within, the soul of the former overseer once consigned to history began to stir and rise anew. Ah, that familiar smell! This is a familiar smell. The desk, the desk, and the chair, and all the other tasks. Oh my God! The wooden desk at the office. The endless walk. Oh my God! This voice, damn! This is auto return. This is not the return. It's auto return. 经过漫长的沉寂之后，你们依然一如既往。You have not changed a bit in this expanded period of silence. 当然还有你，德丽莎，我的孩子。天命的孩子们 ，Damn this voice, man! And there's you, Teresa, my child, my children of Chicksal. 我回来了。I have returned. <laughs> Actually, Otto, you're not joking, right? Oh my God, branch manager? Well, not anymore, I guess. My God, you know what? Will be Otto be back in the real world too? Holy, I, I'm getting here goosebumps. Now it's 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 Otto. Okay, so that will be for the second part. And yeah, we will be waiting for the third part. Yeah. <laughs> Otto, we will we get playable Otto here somewhere. Is one of this Otto? I think it's not. Damn. But yeah. So thank you for the watching second part. Thank you for listening. Wish you good day, night, afternoon, and see you in the next part, part three of Sixers Work Guide.